here we have a problem on logarithm that is uh, we have to find logarithm of 5832 to the base 3 times square root of 2. Since the base of the given logarithm is uh, 3 times square root of 2, we have to write the argument 5832 as a power of 3 square root of 2. So, let us decompose uh, the given number, I mean the given argument 5832 into the prime factors 2 and 3. So, this is an even number, so we can divide this one by 2. When I divide this one by 2, I get 2916. Again, uh, 2916 is, is an even number, so I can divide it by 2. When I divide it by 2, I get 1, 4, 5, 8. Again, uh, 1458 is an even number, so we can divide it by 2, so we get 7, 2, 9. Now, 7 and 29 is an odd number, so we cannot divide this one by 2. So, we have to try uh, dividing by 3. So, we can check it uh, like uh, whether uh, 7 and 29 is uh, evenly divisible by 3. So, let us add uh, the digits 7, 2 and 9. When we add them, we get 18 which is a multiple of 3. So, definitely 7 and 29 is divisible by divisible by 3. Okay, so, when you divide 7 and 29 by 3, you will get like uh, 2 times 3 is 6, 4 times 3 is 12, 3 times 3 is 9. Again, it is an odd number. When you add 2, 4, 3, uh, you will be getting uh, 9, which is a multiple of 3. So, again, we can divide it by 3, we get 81. 8 plus 1, 9, 9 is a multiple of 3. So, again, we can divide it by 3, we get 27. 27 is a multiple of 3, we can divide it by 3, we get 9. Again, we can divide it by 3, we get 3. So, 5832 is equal to product of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 3's and 3 2's. It can be written as 3 to the power of 6 times 2 to the power of 3. But when you look at the base of the logarithm, there is square root for 2, but we just have 2 here. So, we can try to get square root for the 2. For that, what I am going to do is, I am taking square root for the 2 to adjust the square root, I am squaring this. When you simplify this one, it must be equal to 2. And apart from that, we have power 3 here, the same I am taking for this one. So, to get answer in mathematics, we can do anything, but it has to be equal to the original stuff. So, even if we simplify this one, it will be equal to 2 to the power of 3, because the square root of 2, the whole square is equal to just 2 and we have power 3. And now, 3 to the power of 6, for this square root of 2, we have the power 2, again we have the power 3, so better we can multiply both the powers. Okay, now we have 3 to the power of 6 square root of 2 whole to the power of 6. Okay, now two terms are multiplied with the same exponent. Whenever two terms are multiplied with the same exponent, the exponent can be taken in common, then we get 3 times square root of 2 whole to the power of 6. So, finally, 5832 is equal to 3 times square root of 2 whole to the power of 6. Okay, here we can replace this 5832 by 3 times square root of 2 whole to the power of 6. So, 3 times square root of 2 whole to the power of 6 to the base 3 times square root of 2. Using the power rule of logarithm, that is uh, if the argument is the exponential, we can move this exponent in front of the logarithm. So, then it will become 6 times log 3 times square root of 2 to the base 3 times square root of 2. Okay, in this logarithm, the argument and base both are equal. In any logarithm, if the argument and base are equal, the value of such logarithm is 1. So, 6 times 1, finally, the answer is 6. So, logarithm of 5832 to the base 3 square root of 2 is equal to 6.